Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, back from a long winter's nap, it's the Ramble, and I'm Alex Bennett, and we'll be here till midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that there is Chuck Farnham. Hi, Chuck. No, no. And Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year to you, too. Yeah, I fled right into that. Happy New Year. Yeah, uh-huh. we're, we're doing a good job, I think, of convincing them that this is New Year for us, right? Feels like New Year. Yeah, it feels like a New better year than last. So, life. what'd you do on New Year's Eve? Anything? Uh, uh, you know, I watched the Hallmark Channel and then went to bed. Really, watch the Hallmark Channel. I love the Hallmark Channel. Do it's you my really? favorite channel until January first when I switch over to uh, uh, novellas. Novellas. Uh, okay. Mexican TV. Mexican TV. Do you have subtitles? Yeah, but I just usually turn those off and turn the sound down and try to figure the story out myself. See, I came up with a theory once that if I watch nothing but Spanish TV, right, for yeah. like a month, uh, I would become fluent in Spanish. How'd that work? Not uh, so much. Uh, I'd say I don't know, but I don't know how to say that in Spanish. Right. I mean, I know uh, like puta and besame culo, and uh, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. And neither of those are good. Yeah. So, so uh, you, you know, but if, so anyway, you watch the Hallmark Channel. I understand this I year in their Christmas programming, they had a show that actually had a sex scene. Yeah, yeah. Was it? And then, if, and then, and then they also do. LBGTQ plus, I think I got that right. Why? What is the um, plus? Well, who are, who's a plus? I think you and I are the pluses. Is that something we going into to a the party? Wrong place. Uh, by the way, you can go to this party plus one. Well, I mean, what is a plus? It's they have Disney plus. I don't you know, know. They have Paramount plus, and they have LGBTQ right, right. plus. Yeah, I, all I know is the folks over at Lifetime will not show. Men kissing men, women kissing women, none of that. Really? But over at the Hallmark Channel, they have moved into that area. Who won't show kissing with them? Uh, Lifetime. 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 I can't thinks believe you're there watching. There are no gay I people. I can't believe on. you're watching these channels. Oh, dude! I've been, for years, I watched the Hallmark Channel. You can you can tell the story within the first couple minutes, and then you just see if you were right. And strange enough, you're always right because it's always the same eight people up in Canada that make the movies. Now, I, may, I may have mentioned this on my show already uh, last year. Okay. Last year, yeah. Yeah. There's, the glitch, there's a glitch in my camera. I just saw it. Anyway, um, uh, but uh, we went we st- at home and we Marjorie was waiting for it. Oh, two, five, a week till we Maestro is on Netflix. Oh, a day oh, yeah. till Maestro is on Netflix. Oh, it's on Netflix. Let's watch it right now. Yeah. Terrible movie. I saw it. It was on last night on the little, it came up on my thing while I was watching the. Yeah, you, the didn't, watch it. you, you didn't watch it yet? No. Well, can, and I, I, can I make, can I give you the best advice I've ever given you in my life? The greatest, the most positive thing I will ever do for you in your life. Don't waste your goddamn time. I'm on the Mastro. Really? Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. You, watch, you, know, um, you know how sometimes you feel somebody made a movie because they wanted to win an Oscar? Right. You know, so they did everything it took to win an Oscar. Now, to begin with, you know how you win an Oscar? Think about The hell was that? Oh, did I do something here? Yeah, you got balloons happening. It's I your birthday. No, that was last I, year. I, 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 what were those balloons for? I don't know. I don't, know. Know. I don't even know how to do the balloons. No, so. I don't even have my reactions on here. 
Well, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Absolutely. Let's see here. There you, can can you turn reactions on and they create balloons? Anyway. Uh, if that happens, I'm in. But people make movies to say, right. give me an Oscar. And what wins, do you know what wins Oscars the most? I can, I can tell you immediately. If you do an impression of somebody, you will win the Academy Award. Yeah. Now look back at the history of the Academy Awards. Uh, there was four straight years where each the best actress and best actor categories all went to people doing impressions. It's the most sure way. Go, oh, he's a great actor. He looked just like Leonard Bernstein. No, give it yeah. to the makeup people, okay? Right. But so they'll probably win too. Well, what happens is you put on that makeup and you'll look like Leonard Bernstein. You study the voice, you look sound like Leonard Bernstein. But what do these things do to you? They hamper you because you're too busy so wearing the makeup and playing the doing the voice and the whole thing that you haven't got time to actually act. Right. And that's what happened here. He's You're terrible. He's terrible. The guy picture is. is pretentious in the way it's shot. It, there's nothing good about this movie. Marjorie looked at me and said, I was so looking forward to that. And I said, well, I wasn't because I knew what it was going to wind up being. Yeah. It was a plea, a cry for help to win an Oscar. So yeah. we'll watch what happens. Yeah. I'll tell you, you want a really good movie? You want a really oh, By the way, yourself? she is good in it, whatever her name is. Uh, mm -hmm. The woman who plays his wife's very good. And Sarah Silverman's not bad. But anyway. Oh, really? What? I got Sarah Silverman in that thing? Yeah, plays Leonard Bernstein's uh, sister. Wow. Yeah. Wow. To tell you how I think, Yeah. you should watch Waiting. It's called Waiting. It's a movie about a diner. And Luis Guzman should have an Academy Award. That's all I'm going to say. Well, wait a minute. You How old is this movie? How old is this movie? It's been around for a few years. I mean, it, maybe mid 2000s. I think I'm trying to remember. Cause I, I'm starting to forget stuff. But I think I had Luis Guzman on my show in New York here. Dude, that guy is a genius. And you Good, watch this. No, movie. I know I interviewed him. I can't remember whether it was by phone or whether he came into the studio. But nice guy. Nice guy, so, really and, nice And guy. you watch Waiting, and you're going to go, this is the most insane thing I've ever watched. Uh, and people, the, pie, the way, there are people that. out there saying, Luis uh, Guzman, uh, who is he exactly? And the answer to that question is, is and it's the best one I can give, he's the guy who was in that thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he's in a lot of them. Yeah, in a lot of those a lot things. Of them, yeah. And he kind of always plays the same guy. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't really act. He is Luis Guzman. Well, why not? Yeah, no, no, no. It's a good. It's for him. It's an easy part to play, huh? Who plays him? He's a character actor who plays himself. Yeah. Can you hear that drilling outside? Huh? Can you hear the drilling outside my window here? I mean, no. Oh. I did earlier last yeah. year when we were doing this. Oh, last They've been year. They've been for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, Jesus, it's been weeks now. So, uh, anyway, so don't go see Maestro. That's, uh, okay, I, I'll I, stay I, away I, from that on the TV. I've done you I, a real I favor. See, what? Did you, did you see Barbie? Yes. Now, I, here's what I said to my wife after it was over. I said, what was a better movie? Maestro or Barbie? She says, oh, Barbie by a mile. Yeah, there <laughs> yeah. you go. And, I'm telling you. Good. It's a good movie. You I just will, I just will, flashed will, again. My camera just flashed. You, what? You watch. You watch. Uh, waiting. You will spit up food. That's the kind of movie that is. Really. Um, it is like wow. They greenlit this thing, and somebody gave them money. It's always. It's. Uh, I always look at that stuff and go. Anybody can get a check if that thing was made because there's a whole bunch of reasons why nobody should give them money. But I'm glad they did. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't think. Well, you're cupcake. I can't think. I never ate cupcake any, last year. It's still here. Uh, uh, it's still there. Yeah. Like, probably a lot. It's probably really fun. stale by now. It's my birthday. Maybe can, uh, cupcake with yeah, a candle. You can light it. Maybe I can light the candle and uh, you know soften it up. So, do you have any New Year's resolutions? 
Yeah, I'd like nobody else to die. That's what I want. That that would be. I don't want to go to the hospital and visit people, and I don't want them dying. Yeah, yeah. That's my my plan for the whole year is nobody dies. Okay, well then I'm happy. It'll probably include me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, No, you're 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 on a very short list here, Alex. Trust me. No, you're sticking. I'm on a very short list. Yeah, of people that I'd like to see sticking around. Oh, I see. Okay, fine. Yeah. 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 And maybe, just maybe, we might do this in the same room in the uh, in this new year. See how I could could be. Maybe I'll come out and see you. Yeah, or we meet in Chicago. You're out there living. You're in Jimmy Fallon, Nevada. Yeah. Yeah. There's Uh, a lot to do here. I'm sure. Yeah. What we do? Let's see. It's it's Saturday night. I've come out to see you, Alex and Chuck. I left the wife at home so we can party hardy. Okay. Right. Oh God, I can't even think about partying hardy. But it, let, yeah. let's just assume I can party hardy. Okay. What are yeah. we gonna do in Fallon? Well, we probably go down to the. Yeah. I think we're probably gonna stay home and watch. Uh, that Bernstein movie, probably. That would be about the. There's nothing to do here, literally. I can take you out to the. Well, wait, uh, do you have Do you have like a a soft freeze ice cream place? We just got in the pizza parlor. They're now serving uh, Dole Whip from Disneyland. What whip? Dole Whip, those the soft serve ice cream flavors that they have at Disneyland. They have those now at the pizza parlor. You know the thing I the thing that pisses me off about you, okay? Only one thing. Come on. Oh well, I'll come up with a whole bunch. I can. Okay. I'll write a list, okay? But the, the top. That'll be good. The, yeah, we can go through them. It'll the, be like therapy. The top of the list was that you and I decided to go to Disney Disney World. Right. And I bought tickets for both of us on the plane. And then you punked out on me. Really? Yeah. Is so that I, I, on the air, I, I told the story that you punked out on me. You're not going to Disney World. Are you sure? And I said, anybody want to go with me? And this girl, woman, uh, offered. They said, what the hell? So we both went to uh, Disney World together. I had all the all the stuff, you know. I had the uh, right, the, you know. And uh, I have no recollection of this. Hmm. I can't imagine you and I would ever turn down a road trip with each other. Well, that road trip you turned down. I don't know why you just said I can't go. And it was kind of at the last minute, too. Oh. So anyway, I went with this woman. And at least I had a great story to tell. Because we right. went we went on that, you know, that tram that goes to It's a Small right. World. Uh, the monorail. And I said to her, uh, you know what? I would love to go back and say I did while I was here. And she said, what? I said, I'd love to say I rode this tram and I got a blow job. Yeah. So she immediately went down on me. And as yeah, you, traveling to It's a Small World After All, I was getting a blow job. It's, it's amazing when you can get a yes out of somebody in the weirdest situation. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like we were... Yeah, I've never have, done this. Let's... I, I, we hadn't had sex on the whole trip, and I just said, I've always dreamed of getting a blowjob on this tram. I kind of yeah. said it as a joke, and she w- went down, unzipped my pants, and there we were. I mean, I you know, it was a, we had to do it pretty fast because the tram take, doesn't take too long. It's the happiest place I don't want to do it once I get the, it's a small world because there are all those little animated kids, and I don't want them to right, have to right, see Right, yeah. Uh, Although I did do uh, um, gay night at uh, Disneyland one time, and it's a small world. Wow. Really? I mean, everybody's singing and dancing. I'm sure somebody got laid in there that night. It was crazy. Wow. Oh, man. Awesome. Terrific. Terrific. I'm happy. So, yeah, we need another road trip somewhere. We need to meet in the middle. We need to do something relatively innocuous, maybe yeah. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Some weird museum somewhere. Yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, let me see here. I'm, I'm looking at technical problems here. I think I'm a little out of no sync. Way. 
I think we're a little out of sync, but I don't know. Sounds all right. I give up. You know, I give up with all this. I give up with, uh, Chuck, I give up with all this technology. I'm an 84-year-old guy who fixes things when they break. I don't want right. to do that anymore. I want to be right. able to say, hey, I've got enough money. You come over and fix it. Yeah, I get a lot of the calls. Hey, do you know how this works? Do you know how that works? Can you do this? I kind of sent stuff. Well, I, I sent, I turned my son into the tech guy for my mom. Mm -hmm. However, apparently she doesn't need him anymore. Although he did buy her an urn. So. Really? I guess he was, he was working right to the end there. Yeah, does he have a job, by the way? Does, what does he do for a living? He does stuff. <laughs> Chip off the old block, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he's doing fine. And you he's get along, happy. You get along he's okay with the kid? Is. Huh? You get along okay with the kid? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think his friends go, do you have any idea who your dad is? And he goes, yeah, it's my dad. And he's like, no, man, that guy is really weird. Have you ever typed his name into the internet? <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll, every once in a while, he'll come in and go, hey, dad, what was this? And, and I'll have to explain something to him. Well, you know, you're maybe, I don't want to say you're the weirdest person I ever knew, but you're, you're in there, okay? I but, don't know. But, but you're good weird. You know, I don't know how to not be me. And so I don't know what that means. I mean, I, there was a day that Lori Thompson said, I just want to hang glide in your head for like a half hour to see what goes on. <laughs> and that that's, is the best so, explanation I have ever heard of. That's me. so Lori. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and it's true because I don't know. I sit around and I think about things and I implement them or whatever and when somebody goes you, you know you can't do that or that's that's inappropriate and i'm like i'm not sure where the line i i think i know where the line is drawn but there's a good chance i don't yeah yeah well you know i mean i try i, I, I mean I don't, I don't ever come to you go alex you think we're about to yeah, go but too you're, far. You're, you're good weird you and know thanks there's nothing really strange about your weirdness no, it's not like Larry Brown, where we all assume that he's got bodies under the house. Oh well, yeah, we, we yeah, yeah. Larry Brown, uh, you're naming all the people, by the way, who do this show. There, I just right. glitched again. What is that? I can't. I saw the glitch this time. See it? There it is again. I did. I saw the little glitch pop up. But yeah, but anyway, maybe I should just start, I start filming the glitch. No, this camera used to do this, and then it stopped doing it for the longest time, and now it's doing it again. I think it's a, see what I think it is. We use a Zoom here, right? And right. Zoom upgrades all the time. Right. And every time they upgrade, something goes wrong, you know? So I think right. that this is something that goes wrong with uh, them interpreting the video coming in. Uh, hey, what are you doing with, uh, what are you doing for uh, Valentine's Day now that it's coming up? Oh. How do we get from technology to Valentine's Day? Uh, Same thing. Well, you know, I hate buy, I hate Valentine's You need to buy her one of these backpacks and give it to her with nothing heart but the hearts on it. Oh, where where do I buy those? On the internet. On the internet? What's it called? I'll uh, I'll send you a link. Really? Like maybe maybe I will buy yes. one of those. Just seventy five bucks. Great deal. Yeah. And you can put all kinds of stuff there. You can write stuff. You can do whatever you want. Really? I saw it at a convention I was at. And I like oh, dove over a table. At this I think I'd like, put I put. I think I put up a sign that says "Stop following me." Yeah, you can do. You, they have all kinds of little things you can add. Hey, you look really well, nice. Well, you can also today. apparently like add that. add pictures because you have my picture on your yeah, back. Yeah, I can upload stuff. I can upload video. Where do you find Everything. this stuff? You know. It, it, when I'm not, when I'm, I, I'm 65, retired and not at the hospital visiting people, I'm shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Timu. Uh, okay. My people at Timu. Yeah. But you don't, you don't know the Timu? The what? T, 
T E M U. T E M U? No. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the cheapest place to buy anything. And by anything, I mean anything. It's great. Really? So I look on Timu, I find stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, so that's what I do. And then you call and say, well, you, hey, you, you want to use more of these? Your, and I say, you, yeah. yeah. You have your Google, your what? Uh, are they Facebook glasses? What are your glasses? Or Facebook, yeah. Facebook, yeah. 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 And They're not heavy either. They're very light. I mean, well, and they've got one of the... Uh, one of the um, speakers is actually built inside the Ray-Ban logo. It's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Well, here's what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking, I want want what Apple's coming out with. You know that thing I'm talking about that they've got? The virtual reality thing? Really? $3,500? Yeah, $3,500. $3,500. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The The kids got all that stuff. Really? Where they basically sit around couches and watch uh, TV yeah, together. This thing is is pretty sensational. It's even got it. It's you know, thirty five hundred dollars is a car, Alex. It's like blank. You know, the, the goggles are blank. But what happens is they've got a camera in there, so your eyes show up on a screen inside the glasses, so people don't okay. feel that they're not looking at you. So it photographs your eyes and your eye movement, and then it projects them on the screen inside that's facing the people who are looking at you. $3,500. Yeah. So? I can't. I'm getting getting a whole bunch of fuck you money, okay? And by the way, by the way, you're not getting it. You're not getting any of it. And please, folks, do not write me saying, can you give me some? Okay, because uh, I'm not going I didn't to ask. No, no, I didn't ask, but now that you brought it up. See, I don't tell anybody. I, I, don't, need I any. don't tell anybody I'm getting this money. Of course, I only announce it here, but I don't. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't, I think I, no, I, don't know. I don't tell anybody because you know what the first thing comes out of their mouth? Uh, could you lend me some? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't tell. I learned my lesson. I don't tell anybody because it just hit me up for money. You know. Yeah, that, that and quite frankly, I'm an old numbers. guy. I plan on spending every penny of it on yeah. me and my loved one, Marjorie. Uh, and maybe occasionally Chuck if he comes out to see us. But you know. There you go. We could go to tacos or something. Well, what I'm going to do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rent a villa mm. in Spain for a couple of weeks. Nice. You know, it's about 5000 a week. But I get a villa, and some of them hold like up to ten people, and then I'm gonna invite people to come visit. Yeah, well, you like didn't you know, like Ibiza or something? What? Ibiza is that one of Ibiza? I'm, no, I'm staying up? away from there. That's gotten yeah. too too touristy, too you know party time, dance clubs. You know when like when Benidorm. I went there when I went there it was Ursula Andrus taking her laundry to the laundromat you know in a bag oh, nice yeah. i mean it was a very yeah, simple no. time bgs were raised That's there a... you know wow. and it was just really a simple island no electricity in the outside of the town every night you had to like trim the lamps and stuff like that so that was a time when i really enjoyed it when it was some rough living when uh when uh, franco was still the uh the head of spain you know, he was a good guy. And you went to the airport, and the cops were there checking you and looking you over and checking your bags and looking very. It was like something out of Casablanca. You know, nice. Every See, night about eleven expect. o'clock, they would walk into this club and clear it out, just by saying, "Let's see your passport." You know. Oh yeah. And if you didn't have the right credentials, they hauled you off to jail, put you on a plane, send you, sent you away. Hmm. You know. So I felt so like, now, yeah. the villa in Spain. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, hell of a party. So I don't want to. I don't want to get a place in Ibiza, but they're. I can get. They have places in Ibiza too. You know. Yeah. Anyway, you, hey, listen. Larry uh, Rube, can't you just imagine it? What you, Larry Rube, all in a all in a villa in Spain. Yeah. 
Well, I have a whole new set of friends. Okay, so. Oh, uh, hey, hey, come on. Yeah. We don't want those folks. We want the. You know, maybe the riffraff can stay on the side. I'll do one floor. where Marjorie doesn't have to go with me. Okay, and then we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, one. no, she should go with you just to yeah. watch the 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 cesspool yeah. of humanity that you know all together. Hey, well, listen, we've kind of run out of time here, but good to see you in yeah. the new year, my friend. It, uh, you too, buddy. Hope you had a, had a happy one. And uh, we'll you too, see. And uh, I'll see you on Valentine's and, Day or and, something. And, and I hope I last the rest of the year for you. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to count on it. Do I look healthy? Do I look healthy? Yeah, yeah, you look good. Okay. You do, you do too, oddly enough. You look enough. great. Anyway. And the, hmm? we'll yeah, talk, I mean, we yeah. well, we have enough energy in us to, you know, cause at least one or two more problems, I think. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's Chuck Farnham. All right, buddy. Bye-bye, Chuck. See you later. Take care of yourself. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, let me see here. I, I, there's a little bit, bit of a problem here. Uh, well, no, not really. I know where I've got a problem, though. Oh, boy. My, uh, uh, hold on a second, folks. Because if you could see what was happening on the, uh, on the, what do you call it? On the, uh. Uh, uh, Zoom, it's uh, not exactly the kind of artwork that I like to have. Let me see here. I want to go there, and then I want to go virtual background. Uh, let me see what I did wrong or didn't do right or whatever. Okay, it seems to be fine now. Yeah, okay, good. All righty. You know, when you go away for a couple of days, or in our case, about a week, um, I come back and everything's wrong. Nothing works right. So, you know. But anyway, uh, oh, and also my 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 camera is starting to go bad again. I don't understand any of this. Uh, I just got to go get it. I got to get a different camera. I, but we'll figure this all out later. And if the video goes out, I know how to bring it back in. So, that's not a problem either. But let's admit all the people that we can here uh, and uh, have them uh, 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 join us. Uh, gotta go get, I gotta get a different oh, camera. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. We got audio. I got, it's gotta be coming from Jeff. Oh, I can't. That's not a problem either. But let's I'm admit. Oh, you know, yeah, I know you're up, but you've got your audio on. And have them uh, yeah, I do. Uh, uh, huh? join us. Uh, and they go get it. Yes, it. you do. Oh, there we go. He was doing so well in 2023 also. What? He was doing so well at the end of 2023. Yeah. That's no problem either. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, I know you're up, but you've got your audio on. Let me see. Let me, let me mute you. See, that right. is you. Yep. That is you. No, you don't have to restart. You just go to your browser and just kill your browser. Cut the browser. Cut the browser. Just, uh, just stop the browser. Let me mute you. I never that is you. browser. What? That is you. Turn off your browser. Just, just kill it. Kill it. Kill it. No, you don't have to restart. You just go to your browser and just kill your browser. Yes. Stop the browser. Stop What's the my browser? browser. Just, hey, just stop the browser. What are you watching this on? You're watching it on your browser, aren't you? I don't know what the browser is. What? I don't know what the browser is. The thing you look at the you look at the internet on. The thing you were watching before the show came on. Whenever yeah. you're watching the show before it came on, you gotta turn that off. Right. Hey, just stop the browser. What are you watching this on? You're watching it on your browser, aren't you? What I don't know what the browser is. What? I don't know what the browser is. The thing you look at the you look at the internet on. So, by the way, everybody. If you were watching before the show came on. Smoke if you right? smoke if you got them. You got to turn that off. Oh, right. Stop the browser. What are you watching this on? You're watching it on your browser, aren't you? I'm getting a headache. Pam. Pam. Where, where's Pam? Look at the internet on. By the way, 
and then he'll cool. come back cool. on and he'll still have the problem. <laughs> that always fixes it, right? Yeah, okay. No, but, but he doesn't know what a browser is. Well, can what? you say browser? It's, it's whatever you're watching the show before. That's that's why I watch it on my phone. So then when you guys pop up, I just turn this down. Exactly. Really exactly. That's, that's exactly. That's a perfect explanation. What were you watching it on the first half hour? Yeah. You turn that off before you turn the zoom on. Oh, uh, well, you know. That's the way it works. Yeah. I just, I just, I do things differently. That's really I, weird. Dude. I kill oh, the browser is. right when the, when you're accepting yeah. the yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. But, uh, as soon as you say I'm going to let everybody on, mm -hmm. that goes off and then move over to Zoom. To Zoom. Well, let me do something to my camera here for a second, huh? Uh, let me see here. I want to uh, turn off the camera, do I? Oh, well, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll worry about it. If I have a problem, I'll change it. Uh, so anyway, hello, everybody. How are you? A year older. A year older, yeah. Well, I would ask you what you were doing on what you did on New Year's, but you were here. Oh, so, yeah. you know, I, you know. But uh, anyway, so I uh, you'll see on New Year's I have what a, did I have a toothache was that the, the deal? Yeah, you said you did. Yeah. Yeah, I had yeah. had it, and then I uh, I uh, 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 for some reason I started using ibuprofen and it killed the pain. And then after about a day or two, well here well here comes Jeff. Let's see here. Okay, uh, hello Jeff. Oh, there, there we got there. Pam. Right. Hey, so now, yeah. Pam, w when you get a chance, will you tell him what the browser is so he knows to turn that yeah, the off? The browser's just up here. This, well, it's, we can't see it now because he's got you. Yeah. 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 But. Uh, 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 I'm not talking. Somebody got you muted. <laughs> Somebody's is, somebody's got me know. muted. Or Jeff's helping. No, yeah. Jeffy. Yeah, okay. it's fine now. You don't have any. I problem. know. He was playing with it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh no! Can I tell you? The, We're doing the, our I think the recommend is. Why don't you sit, we sit down like tomorrow and just explain to him what he has to make sure is not up mm -hmm. that causes us to get the audio, because yes. the browser's got to not operate. You know, <laughs> got to kill the browser. I, I will anyway. do my best. Yeah, you know, not everybody listens to their wife, Alex. I'm sure you'd be surprised <laughs> to hear that. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Got some good laughing about that. Yeah. <laughs> you ought to stay on the uh, on the program, Pam. I I can't, guys. She, I can't. I have to give Jeffy his time. <laughs> we need our own time, but. Yeah. I love you guys because the, the, I know how Jeff really loves seeing you, even if he drives you crazy with the thing. Yeah, but well, we love him. well, we love him too. That's why we put up with it. You know? I agree with you there. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same with me. See, we have something in common. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye -bye. All right. Take That's care, guys. Have fun. All right, Pam. That's Happy Pam. I, he, she's IT at the. Uh, yeah, that's at, IT at the at the Stein Stein Estate. Up. Jeff's engineer. He's got an engineer there. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um, what was I saying? Oh, so I, uh, you know, I, bet I had this tooth thing. And I thought it was like, it wasn't a tooth. It, I could call it a toothache. It felt like a toothache, but it wasn't, mm -hmm. didn't act like a bad tooth. In other words, cold didn't bother it. Heat didn't bother mm -hmm. it. Uh, and so <clears> on. <throat> and um, so finally I had my dental appointment the other day uh, to uh, get my crown started on my, uh, my I I implant. And um, I told him about it and he checked it out and he said, no, it's not, it doesn't look like it's a toothache. It looks like what's happening is all your teeth are crowded down there and you've created some kind of situation where you've made one tooth very sensitive as a result of grinding mm -hmm. and things like that. And so that's what the problem mm -hmm. is. And then the last night I brushed my teeth too hard and um, I got a, I got that toothache again. I've had that too. Wait. Brushed my teeth. They say I start brushing too hard up here and then between the gum, you know, because I get the gum and the tooth and I start, started uh, biting into the tooth. Yeah. So, you know, so anyway, I was having that problem. But I got to tell you something. There was something very interesting. 
Um, have any of you ever had to have a, a, a mold made of your teeth so that they can make a crown or something like that? Have you ever had that? And what do they do? They get that, that gooey stuff, right? And they put yeah. it in that little little bike plate and then right. they put it in yeah. your mouth and then they let it set. Yeah. You know they don't do that anymore? No. They no. did last year. That's the last Yeah, they did it with me a couple months ago. Well my yeah, dentist like is is ago. really up to date. If he I, I said what I said to the woman nurse, what are you doing? She was taking this little wand and running it across my mouth. Mm. And every part of my mouth, you know? And I'm looking over and she's making a complete picture of my teeth scan. like a scan uh, like a three-dimensional scan. scan of my teeth yeah. and then they send that over to the place for them to use that to figure out how big to make the tooth or not make the tooth so they, uh, they don't even put you in that gooey yeah. stuff anymore yeah, it used to take me days to get that out from between my teeth but oh I, yeah I, sometimes I, I think sometimes i thought my other teeth are going to come out when they pulled it out <laughs> well i think the reason i think the reason why they did it okay uh the reason why they did it um uh is because now they have a complete you know like if they did my just did a thing in my mouth and just kept it at the office to see what to do with it the next time this is just something that I guess they'll have all the time to be able to send over somewhere and say, make a tooth like that, or do this or do yeah. that. There's yeah. only one problem with that. If you have a crown or something replaced or something moved or a filling, mm. then they got to redo the whole yeah, thing again. Yeah. I don't because, think, I don't because think. Because it's not going to be the same. Well, I don't think so. Okay. Because what they're doing is they're making a mold of a tooth that originally would have been in there anyway. Mm. See what I'm yeah. saying? I am. So yeah. you know, you know the um, I, I, how many people floss every day, twice a day? Hmm. Nobody really. Once oh, yeah. a day when I'm in traffic. Well, I I, you, I kind of semi floss. I go you know, when I'm in traffic. You know what works better than well? There you go. You know what works better than dental mm -hmm. floss is a water flosser, also known as a water pick. Water pick. Yeah. Yep. I've got one of those. I've got it gets, one. It gets, I, gets in between the gums real good. You know, it's just as good. What? Swirling Listerine throughout your mouth. Nah, it, get, it gets everything try. out. It gets everything <clears throat> out. I got to try that, I guess, because it might Yeah, but the it. other thing my de dentist told me is don't forget, don't, don't think about the dental floss, you know, and don't think about that. Get one of those little brushes, you know, that goes between Proxy the teeth. Brushes. I do both. What, they ca what, what are they called? Proxy brush. Yeah. Proxy brush. Yeah. Proxy yeah. brush. And, uh, you just use that, and then you throw it out. And right between get, each teeth. Yeah. All your teeth, right between them. Oh, I got teeth. one of those. They're like a they're like a little plastic toothpick that has, that a, has a little. Yeah. It's a brush. Yeah. It's not, it's not a solid plastic yeah. thing. It's a brush. Yeah, it's a little brushy thing that gets in there. So yeah. anyway, my teeth started really bothering me last night because I think I brushed too much, and then it was bad. And today it's they're a little, still a little sensitive. So when I talk, and I maybe my top tooth hits the bottom tooth it it doesn't oh. hurt but it's annoying so mm -hmm. please excuse me it's just another one of my little maladies that you know you could have had the tooth removed what tooth <laughs> and the one that's bothering you they won't remove a tooth just I'm because kidding, it bothers kidding. you kidding. although i've always always had you know crooked teeth here right yeah this little tooth sick and i'm saying and he was suggesting to me yesterday that i have that removed and let yeah. the other ones come in closer, you know. I have 12 <clears throat> crowns. I know what it's like to go through the goopy thing. Oh, well, I, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have nothing but crowns in my mouth, you know. Yeah. Yeah. This is, my, this is my fourth uh, implant, I believe. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's a good thing you got money. Implants on the West Man, Coast. yeah, that's a fortune. That's are expensive it's about forty five hundred dollars a piece oh they're the, that double that or close to that here in the bay oh area. no 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 you i'm i'm telling you you're paying too much then if you well I'm, obviously i'll come to new york That's no the, new york's the most expensive in the country really there are places where you can get implants for like thirty five hundred dollars or thirty three thousand dollars yeah yeah go to puerto rico no, but they're very. New York's very expensive because the, the you know, 
what it costs them to keep an office is uh, expensive. Yeah. You know. Out here, the dentist just puts it into his Mercedes or... No, but I mean, uh, uh, I can't imagine that uh, there's anywhere in the country where implants go <laughs> over $5,000. Out here on the West Coast, they are. I, I, I doubt it. I bet if I looked it up right now, I would find you some cheaper mm. uh, implants. There, there's some cheaper implant places here. You know, I mean, there's no reason why they have to be that expensive anymore because the process is shorter. And they have they have some places that are implants only. Yeah. yeah. Tiffany went to one of those. It's implant only. That's all they do. They don't do cleanings. They don't do any other part of the Seven Eleven, right? <laughs> we see what I would like to do. Is that Kmart? But I don't think Kmart's around anymore. Okay. Here's my gripe about dentists. Okay. Uh, and and I have less gripe about dentists right now than I do my doctor. I'll tell you about my doctor in a second. But dentists. Oh. Um, uh, uh, the biggest problem I have with them is, okay, so it's time to get your teeth cleaned, right? Which you have to do, but they want you to do it four times a year. I'm sorry. You're, to begin with, your insurance will only do two, all right? But you, so you do your, uh, your, your, your uh, what do you call it? Your uh, cleaning. Uh, uh, cleaning. And uh, you, who do you use? You use somebody who's in their office, right? who does the cleaning. Right. So yep. really you're forced to have the cleaning done by somebody who isn't the doctor you're going to. Right, mm -hmm. the hygienist. The, hy the hygienist, <clears throat> they call them. Well, I'd like to be able to choose my own hygienist, but you're not really allowed to do that. You know, it's pretty, the dentist gets very nasty with you if you go to another <laughs> hygienist other than his, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. They, they don't they don't even say like that's an option they say oh you need your teeth clean they'll take an appointment for you and right. the girl she has her own room right next door well my hygienist is pretty good looking though when she leans over i get a good <laughs> that's what i was going i don't know how good i was going to say that too i don't, I don't know, know how good a job she's doing my on my teeth <laughs> And she comes in, smiles at me when I'm wearing my, my normal dentistry stuff. So it's good. Bad. I can't say I've had ugly hygienists, but I've never had one that was absolutely gorgeous, you know. Oh, wow. And that, you know, when she was cleaning my teeth, her tits were flopping in my face, you know, or anything like that. I wouldn't say yeah. she's absolutely gorgeous, but I would say she's got a nice stack. Yeah. Well, I'm watching too much porn. <laughs> Probably. I have you know Probably. that what you're saying right now is highly huh? improper. In this day and age. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, look, 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 right on cue. boy, that yeah. cat has yeah. gotten big. Yeah, it has. Yeah. yeah. It used to belly. be it couldn't wow. it used to be she could just as a little girl, she could bring the cat in. Yeah, now she's a big girl and big cat. Yeah. Damn, that is cat. That is that is that cat is big. Yeah. yeah. I'd, okay, I'd, don't I'd, get out of here. I'd make it. I'd make a joke here, but we got a kid in sitting in the room. Yes. <laughs> we have adult talk going on. Get out of here. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, she's she's not going to let you get away with that. Do you think uh, so? Out, 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 out. The cat knows what out, out, out means. The cat, okay. Bye, 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 That's bye. Not bye, the bye. one you're worried about. Well, the cat knows what it means, but she doesn't. Get out! No! Get out! Bye. So I know somebody who had oh, now she, problems. Oh, here. <laughs> Come back to tea. I locked the door. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. I used to have a... I had my girlfriend that I had a long time ago had a cat that uh, would come into the bedroom while I was trying, because I was taking care of the cat during the summer while she was in Greece. And I would come from work and just go over to Richmond and go sleep at her place for my afternoon nap, okay? Which I used to take every day because I got up so early doing the radio show, I figured if I got a nap, I could stay up later, okay? Richmond, so I would go get a nap and I would go lie in the bedroom. And all of a sudden, the cat would be there in there and bouncing up and down on the bed. Mm -hmm. So I would then lock the door. I would take, take put the cat out the door and then close the door, right? 
Next thing I know, the cat's back in. The cat had learned how to turn the knob on the door. Yes, yeah. you see the video? You know, the camera now on your phone. These guys have videos of every different animal. Now they have, I see, I don't know why, all these raccoon videos. Of yeah. These people with pet raccoons, like eating grapes, you know, with the little hands and mm -hmm. stuff. And it's like yeah. cats doing the craziest things too. The cat, and then, uh, no, but this was the ultimate, I think I've told this story before. I'm starting to get my nap, okay? And all of a sudden, her clock radio goes off. <laughs> and I look over, and the cat is sitting on the radio. <laughs> so I turn the radio off. Go back to sleep again, lie down. The radio goes back on and I'm trying to figure out what's going on here so instead of turning that way I turn this way so I can see the clock radio and I turn the radio off and the cat then starts move is sitting on top of the radio and starts moving its back feet around <laughs> a little bit and hits the button to turn the radio on unplug it no, I was about ready to kill the cat you know I mean it's amazing, cat. amazing cat, br br brilliant cat, you know. You went all the way to Richmond or the Richmond in San Francisco? No, Richmond, Richmond. Richmond, yeah. California, you could sleep there, huh? Mm. What do you mean I could sleep there? What, what, what? I don't know, there's so many bullets flying every time I no, go there. No, 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 no. Not this part of Richmond. Huh? Yeah, but I know what you're talking about. Mm. Yeah, I have friends of mine that work there, and when I go on ride-alongs with them, boy, that's all they do. And, you know, you'll hear a rapid fire in the middle of the night, a gunfight, I mean, a gun, gun, gunshot, and uh, nobody will call the police because they're so used to it. It's complacent. Wow. Yeah, of yeah. course. Well, sad, pretty yeah. sad. Um, I, uh, I, oh, here comes Kevin. Ah, uh, Yes. Kevin, who sent me a very nice post uh, uh, Christmas card. Thank you for the Christmas card, Kevin. Oh, how could he hear me? Oh, that? we didn't get one, Kevin. Yeah, really. Yeah. I just I got your I just address. got your Christmas card today with your daughter and her saxophone. Oh, did you? No surprise anybody got them. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I mean, they were late. I'm telling you, she looked like Lisa Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Out of this whole group, I only got one birthday present. Really? A wow. Amy sent me chocolates. Like, I need chocolates. Did she really? It's, that's very nice yeah. of her. It was very nice of her. See, and every one really... of you should participate in Amy's show, because at Christmas time, she'll probably yep. send you chocolates. Did yep. she send you Except, chocolates, well, my birthday Charlie? Was, my birthday she didn't, was. Any she didn't send you anything? No. Oh. No, she sent them for my birthday. It was on December 28th. Oh, your no. birthday. Okay. My birthday. Well, let's the, the chocolates came out of Austin, Texas. Really? Are they good chocolates? Or you yeah, pro they're pro very you good. probably mm -hmm. ate them all already, right? Langers? No, no, haven't. Lang Langers or Lang something like that. Really? Hmm. Langers? Oh. Lungers? Whatever. Lungers, maybe? I yeah. don't know. Something like that. Yeah. So. I'll go get the box lid. Hmm. Well, you don't have to do that. <clears throat> I won't. Because you'll make me feel bad that I don't send my audience a goddamn thing. That'd be nice. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. You all, wait a minute. Uh, Brian, did you get your bonus I sent you? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, I'll check the mail. Oh, okay. How about you, Kevin? You got the bonus, right? Yeah, I got mine. Yeah, I got mine. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, was that enough? Yeah, it was okay. What do you mean it was Okay. <laughs> It was a damn thousand dollars for crying out loud. Oh, was it a thousand? I thought it said a hundred thousand. Did you make a mistake with the zeros? <laughs> I may have. You know, I ain't put too many zeros I, on there. I ain't getting any younger. You know, the check went right through. What difference does it make, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, hey, so, so when's the best time to visit New York? Is it like the springtime? Is springtime the best? Right well, now, outside, of, outside of never. <laughs> uh, right. October. Uh, best time to visit New York. Best I was time there in to... September. It was beautiful. September's yeah. nice. Yeah, September's very nice. Yeah. Also, uh, May, March, uh, April, maybe probably April, April is nice. Yeah. I like going there when the when the 
the seasons change. It was, the, it's real nice out there. You it's know, I, I've never gone upstate to see the, the leaves change. Hmm. You don't have to go there. I mean, I was, well, I guess it was, yeah, it was September because it was just before my surgeries in 04. Right after, well, they were cleaning up 9 11. That's what I remember about. Yeah. Um, and then I cruised down to Philly and then to Baltimore on the highway there to see a friend down in Baltimore mm -hmm. or Maryland. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was real pretty. They can come to my house anytime during the. Uh... October. That's what I'd like to do is go north next time. Yeah, it'll yeah. be free. Yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, we're having a party at Jeff's. Sounds <clears throat> good. Yeah. We'll have an unmute party. <laughs> a mute party. <laughs> yeah, we can all go out up to Jeff's place and teach him how to turn off the audio. <laughs> That'll be good. A browser party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, when you look at the uh, when you look at the internet, Jeff, mm -hmm. the thing you look at the internet on is what we call the browser. That's the browser. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, but I don't know where to look for it. Well, you don't know where to look the computer for. screen. You had to be listening to it right before you came on. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, that's the browser? Yeah, that's yeah. the browser. Yeah. Okay. Didn't you know that, that, was, that was what it was called? I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'm, I, I don't... I listen. No, it's so funny because I used to be a real computer engineer genius. You had a stroke, okay? I, I, and I understand. <laughs> And all of this stuff, it's like it fell down. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, you you know, I, I, listen, I'm starting to forget some of it. Oh, you know, geez, if you thing. don't if you do not do certain pro things for a year, like the, I had to do, uh, <clears throat> you know, we have this thing on the website where at the top there are these little things that says what the show is and it's animated and so on and so forth. So I had to put one in, make one up for, uh, for Amy's show because we changed hosts of that show, if you didn't notice. Uh, and uh, uh, I hadn't used that program in a year. And I had to learn it all over again. Hmm. You know? I don't have that program. <laughs> you don't have that program. I'll be lucky. <clears throat> no, I'm still amazed at how much I can do, but it, it gets harder <clears throat> all the time. You know, there's always stuff I forget to do and... You know. Uh, yeah, I used to solve differential equations in my sleep. I couldn't solve one now to save my life. <laughs> really? Same yeah. story. I haven't used them in 40 years. Mm -hmm. Forgot. But you don't remember some part of the process? I, uh, only, that doesn't help me. I, I wouldn't even know. See, like, I wish I were a kid. Only if it's on a t-shirt. If it's on a t-shirt, he'll get it. <laughs> Mind. Some of the things you must remain, they come out as you're talking, that they just somehow come out of your brain and out of your mouth, where you don't even expect what you're saying. But it's like, oh, yeah, that's the way I used to do it when I was 14 years old. Well, you know what? I wish I were a kid today because there was a point in my life where I wanted to write a, I wanted to literally write a uh, a uh, what do you call it app for the uh, for uh, um, Apple, okay, an Apple app, app app, right, mm -hmm. for the iPhone, and I couldn't because it was just so complicated because you had to write code in order mm -hmm. to do it. There was no program to do it simply, and so on and so forth. And so uh, I've never had a a. Mm -hmm. um, what do you call it, an app for, for GabNet on the iPhone, all right? Okay, uh, if I knew how to program, I would have been able to do it, but it wasn't something that came by, came to me easily, mm -hmm. but it would have if I were like 12 years old. There were kids writing code today. Oh, yeah. You oh, know, yeah. that's a second language to them. You could, you could, you could write it right now. Huh? Artificial intelligence will do it for you. 
Uh, I don't think not not the subtleties of a uh, of an app. I'm sorry, you can't get artificial. I can't say make me an app app for GabNet. You know, yeah, I don't think it would write the code for it. And then if I, even it did write the code, if I looked at it, I wouldn't know whether it was right or not. You couldn't find the browser. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't know if it was right or not. You know, yeah, I guess and not. that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, I mean, so you find some 12 year old to check it out. Yeah. 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 Or I call Ray. Ray knows how to write code, right? Ray. Or for HTML. Yeah. <laughs> for yeah. HTML. Mm -hmm. Now I can yeah. write HTML that I used to do a lot. I would do a whole web page today. All you have to do is you just say, pick, take pictures and drop them onto the page and so on. And the program writes the HTML for you. But in the old days, you had to write the HTML, and I used to put together whole web pages with HTML. That I could do, you know. But well, then, what I usually do is just let something write it for me, and then I go in and make changes. Well, like if I can't. Well, now, so, now with like the program I use for the website here, uh, you just take it and put it. You know, drop the pictures in and drop the stuff in that you need, and put it where you want to put it, and then basically. As you're going along, the program you're using underneath it all is writing the HTML. Yeah. Okay. And the only thing that's good about me knowing HTML now is if there's something on the page that isn't working just right, I can go look at the HTML and I know what's wrong or right. You know. Yeah, but, that's what I do. But yeah. and and when it came to writing code, I learned how to write basic. I wrote some programs in basic, but basic don't get you anywhere these days. I mean, they're in Mm -hmm. What are they using now? It, it, it went to C Python, C++. C++, mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I'm sorry, when it gets to that, I'm just, goodbye, I'll see you later. You know, I can't do any of that. And uh, I used to write machine language programs. Wow. Really? Ones oh. and zeros, yes, sir. I That's how they got the calculator to work. What? That's how they get what? The calculators to work. Charlie <laughs> was around when it was just calculators. No, but I mean, it, it, but a machine Actually, programming. Anybody who can write machine programming, I admire. Okay, I think they call them programmers. I used to do that all the time. But do you have to do it now, or, the, or do you just ask a program to do it for you? You know. Hey, Charlie. I used to. I had a. Uh, I used to do four. I was a computer science major until I quit. I had to write in Fortran. Yeah, I did Fortran. Yeah, and you'd have to compile it, and you get sheets yeah. stacked like that, and then one mistake yeah. in there, you have to find it. Cobol. Yeah. yeah. Well, in case people don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> I, I did Fivetran. They did Fortran. I was into Fivetran at that time. These are Ooh. these are these are computer languages that you have to yeah. learn in order to make things work to make programs work so you were on your fifth girlfriend named tran i'm into tranny tran now yeah <laughs> oh wow really? tried college, a yeah. computer was the size of the pentagon yeah no yeah. shit i'm telling you the computer center at northwestern when i was an undergraduate was a building the size of the pentagon well i used to do four trans and yeah. then uh, it turned out that it identified as a C++. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the power that was in that building is probably in one of these. You know, that right? was a very... It was, it was less than that. It was like a, 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 a one of those Radio Shack, what is it, Z80 chips yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, that was a great joke I just pulled. And you didn't it pay was. attention to it. It was. It was very funny. And, and you didn't you pay know, attention to it. I was laughing inside. I know. Yeah. Ow. Anyway, <laughs> oh boy. But uh, anyway, so they, we we had our New Year's here in New York, uh, and uh, I think nobody got killed this year. I, I I think it was all went off without a hitch, pretty much. Mm -hmm. There were some accidents elsewhere, though. But a know. bunch of people got killed in Japan. Yeah, Japan was pretty bad. Uh, well, that was the earth. There was an earthquake. And then oh, there was New that. Day. Did, did yeah. you, the, last, the last big one they had was Christmas Day, wasn't it? 
I don't know. Like 10 years uh, ago or something like that. And you think that was March 11th. They had 311. We had 911. Well, March they 11th. had. This thing was a 7.5. Yeah. It was that, that, that was a small quake. Huh? Underwater. I mean, well, I mean, that, that, that's an incredible, incredible, uh, because... And it lasted for like three minutes. It kept going. The Loma going Prieta on. that we had in California, which was really rough, was what, a 6.9, I believe? Yeah. yeah. It was a 6.9. Well, but the it, thing, it, thing is, I you know. go, well, 6.9 to a 7.5, that's not much of a difference. It's well, all the difference in the world, because, and I don't know... How you figure Once it, it gets out? That big, the smaller increments are bigger. Yeah. What happens yeah. if you go from just a seven, uh, six nine to a seven? That's like double. Yeah. And then the next thing is double that. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's so by the time you get up to a seven point five. But Marjorie said something to me. She said, "I heard the highest you can go is an eight. But I never. No, heard, no, no. There's no was, limit, is there? There's been higher earthquake. There's been nine point something because I've seen yeah. them. On yeah, nine point four is the biggest one that ever hit. Yeah, but there's a that we we know of. There might Japan, have been Japan is right on on top of the two biggest tectonic plates. The North yeah. American plate and the Asian plate go right through the center of Japan. Yep, and that's why they have a lot of earthquakes. That's why they have so many earthquakes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Which makes, why it's so dumb to build nuclear power plants. There. Yep. Well, they keep building them there, don't they? <laughs> but, well, you uh, have to build them so they're earthquake proof, or they, if if there is an earthquake, you can just shut them down immediately or something. Yeah. I think the problem with that other one it was it was too old. The well, problem it, with the other one was that they didn't take into account. The fact that you get a tsunami that might flood the place. Yeah, right, yeah. the tsunami fact. If they, they, it was perfectly earthquake proof. Earthquake proof. The earthquake didn't shut it down. Fukushima. Man, those tsunamis are something, aren't they? Fukushima, yeah. Fukushima something or rather. Fukushima, yeah. Fukushima. March 11, 2011. Yeah, but it flooded from the tsunami, huh? Yeah, and and that's what happened. That made the power go out, and so you couldn't cool the nuclear. Uh, piles and so they melted now. Yeah, I have nuclear piles. Oh, that's <laughs> another story altogether. Let's not get back to my health. Uh, I have nuclear piles. <clears throat> nuclear. <laughs> yeah, nuclear. they're a little different. Who do you think you are, Phil? Uh, yeah, really. They're bushier. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was nice of Phil to call the other night. Yeah, that was, and, he did. and nobody got into an argument with him. And he was very good. He was very nice. Yeah. He he played the game the way we like to play the game of those people. You know, yeah. Phil was chill. Those people. Yep. What the show turned out to be was a combination of the nighttime audience and the uh, Monday audience, and it was very nice. Yeah, it's always sort of different. Oh, on New Year's Eve. Yeah, everybody yeah. was on their best behavior, and you know, it was just a nice. Uh, and some of us are drinking. Yes, and it yes, looked like we were. We were but, but Ke Kevin looked like he was just about ready to fall asleep. You were really tired, weren't you? Yeah, it was a big day. Or drunk. Well, because he was down there. <laughs> I and did have a I did have a nice big strong margarita at the bar next door. Yeah. Yeah. But did you say? And luckily, I only had to walk right back to the hotel to get to finish it off. So did you see the game the next day, or? Yeah. Yes, yeah. and uh, you must have been very proud of your daughter. Yeah, it was quite quite fun. You know, the game was pretty boring, but it was just fun to see. She, she plays in the Oregon marching band. That's yeah. what she does. But he was in Arizona. Yeah, <laughs> I know that was not the fun part. But you know, it's Arizona. It was it was okay. Yeah, it was it was a fun day, and the whole week the whole weekend was fun because I saw my old boss. I went down to Tucson and saw my old boss. And, and I saw my uh, stepmom over in Mesa imagine. and. I, I saw a buddy that I hadn't seen in, Miami. 20, in almost 40 years. I saw a guy and I met, you know, met up with a guy that I hadn't gone to school for and seen him in almost 40 years. Yeah. Sometimes I miss Arizona. Well, in my case, you know, it's one of those places that you, you go there and you go, it's not so bad. You know, the desert isn't so bad. It's beautiful. It's got its own different yeah. beauty down there. You know, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's it's boring it's flat it's dry it's you know but a nice place to visit 
Sedona is nice. nice. To visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. You know? Exactly. Well, you got Sedona, I mean, right? That's could, nice. Yeah, if you go up yeah. into the mountains, it's really nice up there. I would live there. Yeah. Um, I got a friend nice that lives Miami. in Miami. It's a nice Flagstaff. Place I got yeah. a friend that lives in Payson, and it's beautiful up there. <clears throat> well, um, you know, uh, 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 Flagstaff. Yeah, yeah, you know, up by the Grand Canyon yeah. and all that. That's nice up yeah. there. Yeah, Kingman, Barstow, Kingman. San uh, Bernardino. Down these <laughs> I knew that song was coming. <laughs> now that's yeah. a segue. A I go to two, I go to Tucson whether I need to or not. I own a, I own property in Tucson, rental mm -hmm. rental income property. Oh, it just gets so hot there. It does. You think? It that's the hottest I've ever been oh. in my life. Yeah, you know what I'm going to tell you. What's fun is when you when you get on a 737 to leave and come back home, and you know you know I'm not a morning person. It's eight in the morning, and they're and they're mm -hmm. trying to push the aircraft in front of them to get out of the way, because at 123 degrees, it's not certified to to take off over that, and they're at 122, and the plane's fully loaded. And I'm like, can we just get off this damn thing? I'll wait till nighttime. You know, and then they got a tsunami or whatever going on. Not a tsunami, but a what do they call with the rain and stuff comes and goes real quick. Storm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forget what that's and called. the lightning's hitting the end of the runway, and oh, that was that's a fun flight. It yeah, reminds you to yeah. drive back there. Really, Almost as good as a haboob when they got all the haboob. Dust. That's what it's called. Haboob. Yeah, that's the dust. Haboob. It's called a haboob. <laughs> haboob. Haboob. Yeah. Haboob. Yeah, it's a I it's a dust a storm. Huge there. dust yeah. storm. Oh, hmm. a boob. She had a boob. Uh, they call this something else in 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 Tucson. It, and, you the know, monsoon it, it, is the water. Monsoon, yeah, it just yeah. opens up. It oh, floods yeah. the neighborhood. A monsoon, yeah. And, you know, you thirty minutes later, months everything's months dry. Rain, then... Yeah. Monsoon. Yeah. That's it. That's the water, and then the haboob is the dust storm. Yeah. Oh, okay. I what? like haboob better. Was there a fun. wrestler Sounds by the name fun. of Monsoon? But you know, Ray, 110 degrees in Austin to me is a lot more uncomfortable than 120 in Phoenix. Yeah, because it's it's because of humidity. Humidity. Yeah, because you, you got like two percent humidity in Phoenix. Oh, Houston! I, I got to tell you, you get wet sweat when, it just evaporates immediately. When yeah, I, I went to Corpus Christi once, and it was about 100 percent humidity. It was so hot. Sorry, Alex. It was horrible. Yeah. When I lived in Houston. I honestly could not keep a crease in my pants. Yeah. yeah. You know, it was it, 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 I, it, it, it was so humid, it was ridiculous. And that was the dead of winter. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, but, but between that and the fact you got a governor is full of crap, you know, it's got to be yeah. the worst place. I do you know what they just did in Ohio? This is this is the one that really got to me. I figured this is off the off the charts of anything we've dealt with so far on this whole abortion issue. Okay. They arrested yeah. a woman for having a miscarriage. Yep. Yeah, for decimating a corpse. Or something. Yeah. Where at? You can't There's even you can't even have a miscarriage anymore without you being no, arrested. I thought they just voted in that they're not going to screw with people that want to have a an abortion. In no, a they court. arrested her and convicted her for decimating a corpse. Yeah. So she went to the hospital and the, she was having a miscarriage and they couldn't help her. And then when she got home, the miscarriage happened and it went in the toilet. Yeah, she was sitting on the toilet when it happened. So it went in the toilet. And it to just looked like out. a bunch of blood and she tried to flush. And then the plumber came and found a little tiny uh, yeah. guy in there. And uh, so she got she got arrested. Oh, I think she got convicted of decimating a corpse. Well, wait a minute! You can't oh, you can't oh, avoid a miscarriage. What with the freaking miscarriage? That's usually what happens. They don't yeah, even usually know what happens. happens. Yeah. And almost everyone flushes it down. But I mean, this is what are you going to do with dig it out? Don't, I know it's ridiculous. This is where it's getting so ridiculous. And that woman, yeah. who literally had to leave the state of Texas in order to get an abortion, yeah. rather than. Face the prospect of dying. Mm -hmm. the, the way the, the, the meme that I saw on Facebook was right. In Texas, the way they decide if you need to have an abortion because it's life threatening is when you die. If you die, it was life threatening. If you don't die, it wasn't. So neither way you're gonna get an abortion. Boy, in Texas, coat hanger sales must be 
risk. Yeah, well, I mean, that you can't do that because that's doing an abortion. That's against the law. Yeah. You they get you doing that, they still lock you up. Yeah. I read today that some women are, uh, like, hoarding abortion pills just in case. Yeah. Well, and these are the 80-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> do we live in a morally corrupt country? Yeah, it is now, yeah. Actually, yes. I mean, they always used to talk about moral corruption as being, oh, you know, people are having sex too much or this or that or the other. No, the moral degradation of this country is this kind of thing going on. You know, this insanity, absolute insanity. You know, the only reason your governor in Texas doesn't want abortions is he wants to get reelected. Yeah. That's the only reason. Oh, even was quite interesting because we were playing uh our our the the college of the university was playing uh Liber liberty university mm -hmm. oh, very right. falwell's university and when you got the university of oregon who's a highly liberal yeah university playing a highly conservative university and highly religious christian university the uh facebook pages were on fire for days and they're still going right now mm. it's just all kinds of you know these are football pages and there's religious and all kinds of shit going on on all these pages about oh you know uh, you know this, this is a school that's teaching you know america's values and and then the you know the, the liberals from oregon are on there telling them yeah well they're out there you know stopping people from having abortions and that's why People are laying all the streets or, you, you know, your your students are out there knocking people up and and there's a shit going on back and forth of this banter going on on these pages about and it's football pages <laughs> and, and the politics going all over. Yeah. And I'm just going, holy shit. I mean, you just sit there and eat your popcorn and look at this shit. And it's, it's Who crazy. won? Who won the game? Well, the Ducks beat the hell out of them, uh, six, 45 yeah. to three years. Forty five. Well, I guess they six, didn't. Yeah. I guess they didn't pray hard to enough. Three. Well, that's the funny thing is, you know, they were pretty. I found them um, unfriendly and kind of nasty sometimes, but a lot of people, I guess, saw them differently. I didn't. I didn't judge on the two or three that I saw, but um, yeah, you know. Yeah, when they're nasty, you just elbow them in the mouth. I don't know if they set that up or what, but I mean, to have that kind of a you know, drama. Uh, highly liberal and highly Christian school playing each other, and there were you know one was a yeah. Division One team and one was an eight seed in the country, <clears throat> in the country yeah. playing each other. I just don't know if that was set up on purpose or what, but yeah, they uh, they just released the list of uh, the um, Epstein people. Oh, oh yeah, did they? Oh, yeah. who's on it? Uh, well, I don't see anywhere here where it looks like, uh, Bill Meyer. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy Kimmel doesn't look to be on the list. Uh, uh you know that story, don't you? Yeah. yeah well, Aaron Rodgers was mouthing off about that. One. Was what mouthing the off on, Aaron ES on ESPN about, uh, 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 Jimmy Kimmel being on that list. He, he was on his podcast or something, yeah. Well, he wasn't on was. Jimmy Kimmel's podcast. No, he was on. He was on, he was he, on that uh, his own podcast or that thing that he does. With he does that once a week or something for the uh, yeah he, where he went to do his uh, McAfee, but, but yeah his butt cleaning, McAfee, and nah. darkness and for three days and get his butt cleaned and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose Bill Clinton shows butt up bleaching. a lot a lot here. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, does he? Yeah, the pictures of him with Jeffrey. Uh, you got you got to understand that you, I mean, Donald Trump should be in there too. Well, huh? well, you can't blame somebody for going with Epstein, okay? Because right. because Epstein was a guy who ingratiated himself to everybody who was yeah. important. So presidents are important, uh, yeah. you know. So I I don't you know, and of course, uh, who the likes list is probably just you know list of people that took pictures with him well you know you, you did they do anything is the question did they take yeah. advantage of the sexual favors these these are minors right that they were supposed to be having sex with yeah not all of them oh not no, but those are the ones that they got in trouble for right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and she's still in she's in jail 
Yeah. The, uh, yeah. the girlfriend. Huh. Elaine. Yeah. Elaine. Well, he uh, got Maxwell. out of it easy, didn't he? What? He got out of it easy. Who? Oh. He's dead. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, you know, I'll tell you a story. I have a good friend, Bobby Slayton, comedian, who has always been one of my best friends. And um, he would bull. come to New York, and he always told me he had this guy he knew who had a house and he put him up there, right? You know. So then this whole thing comes down about Epstein, and Epstein winds up in jail he's, the day he's arrested on these charges, right? And I get a call from Bobby saying, well, there goes my place to stay. <laughs> it was wow. Epstein. It was Epstein. Wow. Uh, and it was Epstein, in fact, who introduced Bobby to, to Woody Allen. So Epstein was this kind of guy who, you know, just because you knew Epstein didn't mean you were having sex with underage girls or anything, although it was highly probable, but it was not necessarily so. And uh, uh, it, it really was a, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be in trouble now because they're going to go, oh, you, uh, you went to Epstein's Island, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I, I just went because he invited me and he had a plane and he said, you want to spend the weekend on my island? Uh, would you, any of you guys say no if you knew met up with Epstein and he asked you to go there? Well, Especially how would I even know? know? Not everybody knew what he was up to. They should have known by the time everything happened in uh, in uh, Florida, a lot of that case. Oh, uh, but okay. uh, but most of them ignored that as being yeah. just kind of a minor deal. A lot of deal. people ignored there Jim Jones. there too. There were a lot of adult women there that you could fool around with. Yeah, uh, Charlie was interested in them. <laughs> yeah, so I wouldn't mind being invited either. Yeah. You know, but a lot of people overlook But Bobby him. Slayton like, had said to me, I got this friend, Jeffrey Epstein. I'd, I'd like you to meet him. Would you come on over and meet him? And I yeah. went over and met him, and he went, hey, listen, I have an island. I go down there all the time. Uh, you seem like a good guy. Would you like to go with me? I, I, went, I wouldn't turn it down in a second because no. I didn't know what he was up to otherwise, you know. Oh, wow, I have the whole PDF document here. Oh, really? Wow. What are some oh, of the wow. names? I, I can't find the names here. Um... Oh well, you know it's a it's a legalistic. I'd I'd have to go through and find them. Oh okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But how many times is Donald Trump's name on it? <laughs> I'm sure Donald Trump's name is on it. Yeah, because you know. Let me they're see if I can. Standing next to Epstein, so yeah. You know, a lot of people didn't get Epstein, but a lot of people didn't get Jim Jones either. So, you know, <laughs> ah, uh. it's, a, it's a valid comparison. <clears throat> A lot of it's it's, it's a di it's a different comparison, but different. you know uh, there were a lot of people politicians who cozied up to Jim Jones because Absolutely. they figured politically it was good for them. Mayor of the mayor of San Francisco did. Willie Brown did. Yeah, yeah. They uh, didn't know. But, and, and you can't hold them, hold it against them. Yes, Jeff. There's a whole bunch of professors who were really ultimately the uh, presidents of. Of uh, these universities, and oh, wow. a whole bunch of them got got killed, or not killed. They got fired because of what were they anti-Semitic or yes. they anti-Muslim, or maybe anti both. Anti-Semitic. Well, they were accused of being. Yeah. So I don't know. And some. You know, people... this is the day and age. I got to say this. Uh, uh, this is the day and age where simply being accused ruins you. Yeah, you're gone. You know, so anybody can accuse somebody of something and it can ruin them. I mean, let, let, for instance, Jimmy Kimmel, this thing with what, what's the what's the uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers and yeah. his statement about, oh, well, I can hardly wait to see you, Jimmy Kimmel's face when the list comes out and he's on it, you know. And then Jimmy Kimmel wrote a thing saying, listen, asshole, this was exactly how the tweet went, and then he went on to say, I've never flown with him, I've never known him, I've never met him, I never had anything to do with him, so why don't you just stop with this, or are you going to see me in court? I mean, he was yeah. really livid about it. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't nip something like that in the bud these days, it yeah. lasts with you, whether you're guilty or not. Yeah. But I just think this, you know, I have, look, 
I have certain reservations about whether it is proper to say that Donald Trump can't run somewhere. And I'll tell you why. Because it was never proved, okay, that he was, you know, that he had done anything. He hadn't been found guilty of anything. You know. Yeah, they, when they wrote the Constitution, they didn't say you had to be found guilty. It, well, didn't, it doesn't say that in the 14th Amendment. Yeah, it doesn't Amendment. say that in the Constitution. It, but just because it doesn't say it doesn't mean that you shouldn't have to. Um, I agree with you. But I'm okay. just saying, in the Constitution, the 14th Amendment, Article Number 3 or something, doesn't just says participate. Mm -hmm. I agree too because I'd rather see him just lose fair and square than yep. to have but this. But he did in 2020. And what happened? <clears throat> no, what I know. What happened this time? He's going to do the same thing again if he loses. He's going to do it but again. People are going to be more emboldened, and they're going to they're going to really go berserk. Yeah. Anyway, it's all these blue states that he wasn't going to win anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So I mean, I but I mean. Uh, yeah. He maintains he won California. I know. <laughs> well, even even when Hillary, uh, when he beat Hillary, he said he beat her worse than it set than the numbers were. He said it was like a he it was a landslide, but there was cheating then. Do you remember mm -hmm. when he said that? Landslide. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it, it it's just that I I don't know. I just I just feel that charging somebody with something. And not having to go into court and prove that they broke the law, uh, you know. I, 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 and I believe me, I, nobody more than myself would like to see Donald Trump get nailed on every inch of this stuff. But let's do it legally, okay? And let's not take shortcuts. And uh, you know, quite frankly, I think it's up to the Democrat, the Republican Party, to decide whether they want to run him or not. You know, in any of these states. Because well, they do. There, because what is the primary? Primary is something that really we shouldn't even have to hold. Because all it is is a convenience to the parties mm -hmm. in order to find them a nominee. It's relatively recent, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Absolutely. And it costs the states a ton of money every time they do uh, one of these uh, uh, primaries. Right. There's no reason for a primary. They used to go into mm -hmm. a convention. And all argue among each other. And when they were through, they came out with the best candidate. There were that's no primaries. Huh? So that's what the convention was for. Exactly. Right? The candidate. Yep. And now it's a fait accompli. They go to the, it's just a coronation of sorts. It really, it, it, I, it, I, they I, sell I, fake ZZ top shirts. I mean, I feel like, screw you. We're not going to do your job for you and pay your money for you. I mean, you have to. I see it what, right. Now, what just happened to my background there? Oh, no, I, this, I didn't do it. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, hmm? Not me. Jeff started writing code. This is, yeah, <laughs> this is just amazing to me. Just yeah. amazing to me. His shirt is different. All of a color. sudden, I'm I'm blue. I'm, you know. There we go. There we go. I just now I just put it back. See, I I can't. I give up. <laughs> I give up. None of this technology works for. No matter how great they say this your technology is. Your picture disappeared is, off your green screen. Right? What? Your picture, your background picture disappeared off your green screen. What, yeah, what, yeah, but now it's back. No, I'm, I'm just saying. Jeff said hey. your shirt was a different color. No, 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 no. Hey, Alex, was... are you running that on a Mac or a PC? A, PC, uh, a Mac. Yeah, I had a friend uh, who does a show like this, and the same thing happened to him last week. The background just went off like that. Really? Well, yeah. it might be just a new little little problem, you know, that Zoom has, you know. Yeah, it's probably a Zoom Mac bug. But they don't have the same amount of problems as uh, Skype had. Anyway, hey, listen, there's the theme song. Gotta go, gotta skip out of oh here. God, that was fast. Huh? That was fast. Uh, yeah, it went pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Alan, thank you for joining us. Uh, Charlie, always great to have. What, what does your thing say? Oh, that's how I yeah, roll. That's how I roll. Okay. And uh, you'll have to explain that to us next time. Love biscuits. Don't take the shirt off. Wear it over until the next show. <laughs> and uh, Brian, thank you so much. Jeff, great to see you again. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Kevin, glad to have you back from 
Arizona, and Ray, always nice to see you here. Everybody, you know, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a wave, a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's and you know what's next is uh, Amy uh, Manuel is back uh, with the intersection, and she'll be uh, taking calls on Skype at uh, GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.